everyone welcome back to my channel after posting my last video about what I cook for dinner from Monday to Friday I was overwhelmed with all your comments because in that video I talk about a little bit about how I do my meal planning so I had so many comments here as well as on Facebook saying show us how you do the meal planning but that video will be separate from this one and also they asked me how do I manage my day-to-day -day life and how do I make sure that everything get done in a timely manner and I remember Manpreet also asked me this question a few videos back saying show us how your day look like and how do you manage everything so Manpreet if you are watching this video this is for you and in a general you know I want to share with you guys that how usually my typical week look like and how do I manage everything with the two teenagers boy with all the activities and all the housework with the YouTube work so let's go ahead and start so the first thing I do is make a list for that entire week in a sense on Sunday night I sit down and write it down on a piece of paper what are the things that needs to be done that particular week in a sense if there is any appointments any technician coming to the house to do any work if I need to do grocery shopping if I have any social gathering any lunch date with my friends any kids special activity like tournament any um, concert at the school any special thing is going on that particular week I write it down on a piece of paper so then I know exactly how my week is look like. Second thing I do is make a list for the next day. Now we are here on Sunday night. I know exactly how my week is going to look like. So I'm going to plan everything according to that. And Monday is usually a very busy day for me because it's my laundry day, grocery shopping day, as well as it's a my day. In a sense, anything that I need to do for myself, it get done on Monday. Like manicure pedicure hair mask face mask anything you know i do it on monday and i try to do grocery shopping either on monday or friday never in the weekend because weekend is usually busy at the store and i like to stay and spend the time with the kids and not at the grocery shop so usually monday or friday is my grocery day and most of the time it's monday so then sunday night i write it down that i need to do face mask and even i write it down what kind of face mask i'm doing hair mask if i have an appointment for my manicure pedicure or um, i need to do the laundry in small thing like a laundry but still i write it down because even it's small sometimes you get caught up in the some other things and you forget about it so i make sure that i write it down every single thing even if I need to call somebody, I write it down. So then here I wake up Monday morning, everybody is gone by eight o'clock. So then house is empty. Then I plan what are the things that I can do to get going. In a sense, laundry. I don't need to sit down and watch or do any laundry. I just need to put it in the machine. Machine do all the work. So that is one thing is taken care of. So I put it in the machine forget about it so as soon as everybody leaves I go upstairs start my machine laundry is going come downstairs take care of my uh, hair because once I put the hair mask it needs about two three hours if I'm doing the henna mask so then I put it in my put it on my hair forget about it then I move to the next thing then I start cleaning the kitchen take care of the house make sure the house is clean all that things is done by 12 o'clock laundry is done house is clean taking care of myself if i'm doing any exercise everything is done by 12 so 8 to 12 i take care of all this by 12 12 30 i'm out the house and then i do the grocery shopping now with the grocery shopping i also write it down on a piece of paper because we do have the walmart target and all the other grocery shop close by but not the indian store because indian store is kind of far from my house and if i forget something i don't want to do back and forth just for that one thing so then we have an asian market also now asian market of course they do have the indian aisle where i can get the indian most of the indian grocery i can get it from there so most of the time it's just a one shop for everything so i can have my indian grocery done as well as the fruits and vegetables done from the one shop 
But let's say if I need something special and they don't carry it, then I need to go to the Indian store. Now the way it is, is this is my house, this is the Asian market, and then at the last I have an Indian store. So that's how I plan. I first stop at the Asian market, then go to Indian store, and then come back. And sometime while coming back on this other side, we do have a temple. So if I'm going to temple, that's how I plan. You know, I go to the Asian, Asian market, Indian store, temple, and then come home. So I'm done with all this stuff by 2.30 max. 2.30, 3 o'clock, because then kids come home around 3.30, and I wanna make sure that I'm at home when they come home. So as soon as I come back, I put all the groceries back, everything is taken care of, and then by 3.30, when the kids come home, their snacks is ready. So then I give them a snacks and then start preparing for the dinner and all that jazz. By seven o'clock, I'm out the kitchen. Six o'clock, we eat dinner and yeah, for some people it might be way too early, but that's how we are. Because for us, lunch is very light. You know, we don't have a heavy lunch at all. So dinner is the main thing for us. So when my husband comes around six o'clock, that's our dinner time. And by seven o'clock, I'm done from the kitchen. I'm out the kitchen, you know, kitchen is done. Then I also plan for the next day. In a sense, whatever the kids are taking for the next day lunch, make sure if I can prepare ahead of time, I go ahead and do it. Their water bottle is ready to go. Their snacks that is not, you know, non-perishable snacks, I put it in the lunch box. Everything is ready. Then the I make the chai in the morning, the chai pot, the cups and strainer, everything is right there so in case sometime like you know if i'm running late in the morning or even if i'm not you know everything is ready to go so i'm not rushing in the morning as well as i also taught kids to make sure their clothes is ready for the next day also so before they go to sleep they make sure that all their clothes everything is taken care of their backpack is ready and i go back and check you know make sure that everything is ready and they are not forgetting so it, their backpack is ready and it's next to the door so in the morning like once they are done eating breakfast and everything when we are ready to go the backpack is right there you know so they are not rushing back and forth everything is planned everything is taken care of so that's how i manage the one particular weekday so the third thing I do is check that list. In a sense, every single night I go through that list, make sure everything is taken care of what I supposed to do. And for some reason, if it's not done, then that will be the first thing that I will do the next day. I hope I have answered all your questions, but even if you have any more questions, leave the comments below and I will definitely try to answer that. But these are the things I've been doing it. This is how I plan my days and weeks and so far it's working for me because as a woman we have so many responsibility on our head. We are wife, we are mom, we are working woman. We take care of the house, we take care of the outside work, we have social responsibility on our head. So by making the plan, by writing down everything, following that schedule, setting your priorities, we can teach all these things to the kids also and they can be as successful in their life. Because I think as a woman, as a wife, we are the main pillar of the family. So we have to be strong, we have to set the example, we need to be make sure that everything get done on time so same thing we can set the example for our kids also so friends i hope you like this video i hope all these tips is helpful to you even if you are working woman staying at home mom i hope all this stuff you can use this in your lifestyle and it can be helpful to you now it's time for the person of the week so the person of the week for this week goes to are you guys ready goes to priya Congratulations Priya. She also has a YouTube channel and her channel called Real Homemaking. So don't forget to check her channel out. And Priya, if you are watching this video, please leave the comments below or you know what? No, you can call me. You have my number, so call me and let me know what you like to see and I will do that video for you. And Trupti, if you are watching this video, you were person of the week for the last week, so let me know what you want me to do and I will do that video for you also. 
So friends, I hope you like this video. I hope all these tips is helpful to you guys. And the day I post this video, day before, it's the Women's Day. So I want to wish all of you very happy Women's Day. All I had to say is be strong, follow your heart, and never give up. So thank you so much for watching guys. Leave the comments and suggestion down below. Also do not forget to subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.